Hello, I'm Clever Sausage and I decided to create this video today uh, because I had, I've had a PC related project in my mind in the back of my mind for about a year to two years, two years or more um, that I never got around to finishing I ran into a few problems uh, creating a 100% PC I'm going to say this slowly and I'll give you a funny story as to why PC disk less computer I was a complete novice to computers once upon a time around about the 80s 90s early 90s um, maybe late 90s 2000 yeah I had no idea at all I'd seen computers around these little big ones at this office that I was cleaning with uh, the family um, we actually got hold of one and I don't know what happened to it uh, had a Canadian friend that we picked up a whole lot of computers and I asked him to teach me but he just didn't, didn't bother um, so at home I think one day I went down the road and bought myself a Windows 95 machine from a second hand Chinese dealer for a sum, took it home, started using it and then a um, a good friend well intentioned uh, came over and he had a uh, one of those CDs to get free from PC Magazine or PC World Magazine uh, or PC Tech and says um, there's a whole lot of games on here I think they're full version put them on your computer your Windows 95 so I ate and I installed them and then he eventually went home or to work off to work and uh, I was playing these games and I realized they're only like one or two minutes long not the full version you know this is wasting my time I get this crap off this machine so knowing nothing about computers I tried to uninstall them and nothing you know tried to delete them nothing happened so I came up with the idea uh, I'll, re, I'll wipe the whole system reformat it and um, yeah, put this Windows 95 back on it and I'll be able to do my thing uh, so I did that I got to the end user license agreement and then to the point where it asks you to put in the uh, well, before I did all this, the, the actual, uh, I got a pop up saying, you know, if you wipe this system, you'll lose everything. It could cause you some uh, problems or something like something like that. I can't remember. So I went ahead and did it, you know, reformatted it, for, reformatted it, and got to that stage, like I was saying, that we had to put this Windows 95 CD key in there, right? And having this copy, this copy, from a friend it had no key for Windows 95 and I didn't know where you get a key so puzzled wondering what the hell would I do I must have spotted a sticker on the machine or something saying if you think that you have an illegal version uh, not the original Windows 95 or Windows CD then give us a call because that's illegal so I thought, well, maybe these guys might know where the hell do I get a CD key so I can uh, from so I can finish this installation. So I ring him up. Hello, mate. How's it going? Oh, not bad. Uh, I bought this Windows 95 machine a few days ago from this uh, second-hand dealer, and uh, a friend came over and put it, put these three games on there. He said were full uh, versions, but they went so I tried to take it off and, and uh, I decided to wipe the whole system and um, reformat it and put this Windows 95 on it. I got to the CD, please put the CD key in and I got no CD key. And he goes, what the hell? And he wanted to know where I got it from, who I'd bought it from, the address, the phone number, the name of the guy. And I says, uh, why? And he says, because it's illegal, it's against the law, for 
for a second hand dealer, a shop dealer, a computer dealer to sell you a Windows 95 PC without a COA. I was like, what the hell is that? So he explained, he says it's a, you get the original CD, right, when you buy it, or you buy the machine, right, and it's got this booklet, and it's got like this goldish stamp on it, a seal, right, and it's, the COA is, translates as Certificate of Authentication, to show, to prove that you have an original version of Microsoft system, i.e. Windows 95 or 98 or XP. So, oh, okay, no, I didn't get any of that, mate. He goes, oh, what the hell, you know, who did you buy it off, where did you buy it, what's his name, what's his phone number, you know. Obviously, you'd go around there and bust the guy, because it's illegal. I'd probably get busted as well for, uh, if they brought up the, uh, your accomplice to the illegal uh, act, you know, having a not having a certificate of authenticity or whatever you know, whatever they want to try and catch you out on, what they can catch you out on. Yeah, so um, he was insisting, you know, that I tell him, give him all the details, and I hung up on him, you know, had a fright. Well, hopefully he doesn't bother me, you know. That's it. But he uh, must have had caller ID because he kept ringing me and ringing me, demanding I tell him, all the, give him all the details. So I just, hung up the phone and pulled the phone out of the, out of the socket. Uh, and in a Japanese friend, uh, Moto. Moto. Um, was on a course with me. Uh, I'm befriending a Japanese guy. Um, downtown Auckland, Queen Street. And uh, he happened to come over and he says, oh, I'll get you a key. So he went home and he got his home stays. Windows 95, he was using at the time, he and then, um, brought it back and away I went with the machine, you know, all finished, back to what I was originally doing. Um, I had dialed up in those days, so yeah, that's how old I am. Uh, yeah, so all, all was honky-dory. Cheers, mate. Hope you're out there doing well. He was a uh, Japanese guy, he had long hair like Jesus, a beard and a moustache. Yeah, I think his father, he said his father was a diplomat in some foreign country, probably the Philippines or something like that. And he had to go home, yeah, and uh, to get a haircut and all that. Oh my goodness, it's Japanese thing. Um, yeah, so he went back eventually. And in time I had these Malaysians, uh, one Chinese, one Malaysian, there's a homestay here. A homestay student learning English, going to school learning English. So they were teaching me computers as well. I was trying to do... I had I had no knowledge of no interest in computers in the seventies and eighties, early nineties I suppose. Um, yeah, until I think we got a hold of one or a Canadian friend found a whole lot in a bin outside a company and um, took them home and I was begging him to teach me and he just didn't, you know. Uh, he'd just type away on them and yeah, do all the stuff that he knew. Um, trying to get them to work or whatever he was doing. Yeah, so I never learnt, but the urge was still there, but uh, yeah, eventually I went and bought my own, and learnt from there. Um, so I happened to be on the net one day, and um, a guy was dropping hints online that I was building a 100% disk S PC. Yeah, I said that slow for a reason. The reason is, uh, one of, I think the China, one, one was Chinese, one of the home students was Chinese and he was a programmer so he knew more advanced stuff. Johnny Dion, he's married now I suppose, so hopefully he's got some kids. Um, kudos to you out there Johnny if you're still out there, hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, he was Malaysian Chinese from Cebu or something like that, or Cebu, S-E-B, I don't know which one, I think there's two, one Philippines, one Malaysia, I don't know. But um, yeah, one of them came across to me fiddling around, tinkering, tinkering around this other old machine like this, you know, that I had at the time. And he asked him, what are you doing, man? What are you up to? And I says, well, I'm tinkering around with this machine. He says, what the hell for? What are you trying to do? What's it, you yeah? know? Why are you doing that? He says, because, get this, because I talk too fast, you know? Even they said that about me. You talk too damn fast. 
in the English is limited, right? Um, so it says, oh, I'm trying to create this dickless computer, bro. This, what? I'm creating a dickless uh, computer, a dickless PC. Uh, because apparently I read that um, you can't get a virus on it, you know, and all this sort of stuff. And you go, what the hell, man? Dickless? I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, dickless PC. And um, he goes, well, that's funny because computers don't have a dick. And I was like, oh, I just realized, you know, it's like, oh, oh, okay, oh, no, error, you know, error of what I said. I know, man, I meant diskless, diskless. It has no disks, no hard disks, no um, CD ROM, you know, no floppy drive. In those days, he had a floppy drive, and uh, it was later recommended you don't because people, uh, sneaky people, would come along and stick a floppy disk in there, copy all the files or whatever your data onto uh, this floppy disk uh, from your floppy disk drive, take it home and pervert whatever you got in there, maybe use it against you, you know, if you got something incriminating in there. Um, apparently, there's a lot of uh, company uh, espionage done like that. I don't know. Go to your home, yeah, go to your home research to established effects um i'm just going from the top of my head here. yeah so um time went by and i was looking on uh well i fell you know i kept banging uh, hitting brick walls with this uh discless pc project right so i happened to be on youtube one day and i saw all these people like with your videos oh 100 disc less that was like disk less computers, right? So I was watching it and deeper into the video videos, and I suddenly realized no way, wrong, you can't have a diskless PC. Why? As Borat would say, not because um, you still had the CD, DVD, wrong, running, right? Plugged in there, running. And you're saying that you're going to put your CD in there, operating system in there, to run and then probably um, install it onto your hard disk which you had uh, connected and running, right? Yeah. So that's not a 100% diskless, diskless PC. Okay. So uh, the older machine that I had, like this, way back then. I see the information of the, the guys dropping on the internet. I pulled out all the uh, uh, CD, DVD, ROM, the hard drive, the floppy. Uh, just left the RAM and the graphics card. That was it. And had a hook up to the uh, dial up at the time. That's how all the RAM. Um, I was yeah paying for it at the time. So yeah, um, I took all of those out, right? And then after a while, I guess I wanted to chill out, go have a feed, get a coffee, a bit of relaxation, whatever. So I left the shed open while I was doing the project. And um, of course the kids go outside and play, they're like two or three at that time. And they must have got into the shed, and uh, there's some gaps, you know, like that where the um, protects it from dust and stuff like that, like this right here. Yeah, a couple of these are missing. Uh, at the front of it, so yeah, I'm inside, and obviously they went outside, and they stuffed um, earbuds and lollipop sticks and teddy bears and all sort of rubbish in it. So I come out there, and work on it again later on at night when I'm in sleep. What the hell? It's all this crap in there. So yeah, I've taken out, I've taken out all these parts, and I tried to get this thing to work, but just for some reason I just couldn't get it to work. So this machine. Uh, unwanted and unloved, been lying around in my uh, room for about six months. So I'm uh, pretty bored. So I yeah, was saying to me, uh, "Come on, fix me, fix me, make me a hundred percent discless, discless, discless." Yeah. So I'm like, "Oh, okay, yeah, we over there, grabbed it." Yeah. But I've, I've, because it's been sitting there for ages, all the parts are actually in there, not like the other one where I pulled all the bits out. Right? Um, but as you can see, it's uh, CD DVD ROM is not connected. Here's the connector there, so it's not operatable or not running. Right. I can't use it. I've got no floppy disk. Right. Not connected. I've got no hard drive. 
connect, no hard drive, nothing there. It's not connected, so none of them are active, right? But I've got RAM. Two sticks of RAM in there, right? Probably equals about one gigabyte tops. Um, yeah, uh, the old graphics card at the back there. No, uh, extra, whatever goes in there, card. Uh, you, see, you can see this is pretty old and crusty. Um, yeah, so why have I taken all those parts out? Because according to this guy's hints online uh, and what I've read, what I've researched is uh, that if you don't have a CD DVD player connected up, your ROM connected up, or your hard drive. Don't worry about a floppy disk because you don't use them these days. Uh, they suggested you don't need them, you don't use them. If you don't have those two connected, well, this is a uh, read only this is device, right? Read only. Unless you burn a CD, create your own CD, and you burn something to it, right? You have a virus inside that software, that audio, that ebook, whatever, right? You're burning it to a a CD DVD unless you make it read only if it's right read and if, it, if it's read and right they can put a virus on in that disk right and then it can infect your machine sometimes drastically if you if you don't have a hard drive right they can't put a virus on it because it can't be stored on it okay but what I found was they can possibly put it in your master boot record that's when you turn the machine on it goes through all that text but, um, on your black screen and all that running yeah it's checking out the circuitry and all that sort of stuff the system right and put in your master boot record uh, or they can put it in your memory into your ram here right into your memory but what i read was that if you power this machine off the memory is cleared, okay, when you shut it down. So if there's any viruses in there, it should be cleared with it. Yeah, okay, um, I go with that. I haven't done enough research on that yet, it's just what people are saying. I've, I've seen people say, saying, um, yeah, so I'd say you got less risk of getting a virus because those are installed, installed in and one is right. Ah, one is read only, you know. You're gonna, um, yeah, it's read only. So there's no sneaky USB sticks in the back here, right? You know, with a live system running off it, because uh, I think, right? You can see two USB ports. Just two USB ports here. There's two at the back. There's one at the front for a crusty old keyboard. We should have two, that's weird. Uh, this is an old uh, Evo. Okay, so you have these two USB here, right? Uh, one is for the mouse. Mouse here, right? Even it said it's not a some other device like a USB stick with a live system on it. And this external hard drive here, which I had on Windows machines for a while and then it decided it didn't work. I bought it for 50 bucks at an Asian uh, computer shop up the road pretty good deal it's 500 gigabytes external hard drive and I just plugged it in uh, and the system over here uh, heads it's like tails it's free it's a free Linux Linux distribution you can download from um, what is it distrowatch.org distrowatch.org and it's like tails but they reckon well they claim it's better um, yeah I can't show you the monitor with it on there it's running um, because I have a USB webcam here um, and the problem was it's a, a PS2 PlayStation 2 iToy webcam that I hooked up because um, the kids don't use the pom pom game anymore they're all grown up um, or that kung fu thing you know exercise type thing whatever it was called in those days so I grabbed it and used it um, as a webcam, <laughs> why? Because the cat, uh, Nessa's cat, 
he's a mis mischievous little punk. He walks around in any cable that's hanging, be it a, a phone adapter, mobile phone adapter, uh, a USB mouse, um, anything with a cord hanging down. He comes along, he comes along and he chewed it all. He chewed like, well, probably about three or four mobile ad um, adapters, cords, chew, 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 you know, webcams, mice. Um, a guy was kind enough to give me about oh, three webcams, really nice ones that he, Logitech ones and stuff, um, Microsoft ones that he never used. And uh, that damn cat saw them hanging, so he chewed through them. Yeah, I went to use one, wonder why it wasn't working one day. I was like, oh, I just about chewed it in half. Record. Because uh, a lady I was talking to on a chat site somewhere, somewhere a, a while back, she said she's a cat lover. And um, she's trying to tell me, well, I guess it might be fact, you have to go do your own homework and research to, to establish that fact. She said that these cords uh, have fish oil inside them. So this cat. Or any cat, her cat, sniffs the damn thing, and smells, they can sense fish on animals, yeah, they super, super nose, whatever, and they can smell this fish oil in there, so they start chewing the damn thing, yeah. So, yeah, he ruined a lot of um, stuff, right? Uh, yeah, let's just hope uh, for the niece's sake he doesn't chew uh, an electrical power cord, you know. Or something electrical, you know, comes fried cat. Um, but yeah, he totally ruined those ones. Yeah, so I pulled it all apart. Okay, uh, this external hard drive does not have anything on it. So I wiped it when it was on a Windows system and it was running before that, and I wiped it for some reason. Uh, I think I didn't think properly or something and wiped all these files with it or say it's some dream idea, I don't know what it was. But there's actually, honestly, there's nothing on there. There's no hidden systems on there. It's not running from there to there, you know. Everybody thinks, oh, yeah, it's running from this external hard drive. That's why it's got that um, heads running on that other screen. No, no, no. It's not, there's nothing on there. I'm completely honest, engine, it's not, nothing on there. Um, I just hooked it up today and, and you yeah, know, it's, it's the first time in ages that a machine that I've got has actually detected it. Yeah, so I don't know at the moment if I can. It's this thing, there's no internet connection, right? Nothing, right? Nothing yet. Um, so I, I haven't got a longer um, uh, internet cable goes to the Wi-Fi, which is in another room, like this machine here, at right? the Sparky machine, Sparky Linux machine. Um, because the Wi-Fi box is in the, in the lounge, but um, yeah, see, it's only got one uh, port at the front for this crusty old um, keyboard, here, right? This crusty old thing here. Okay, you notice that there's a button missing here. Yeah, uh, visiting kids or kids when they're young, they get frustrated. It's playing old retro games on here. They get frustrated because they're losing, or maybe they get totally bored or whatever the issue is. They pull the buttons off, whether it's a new one. I dropped it uh, or not, a new one or not, and I dropped it a couple of times. So I broke the corner here. I did have that corner. It was supposed to clip, but I'm not there. I hope somebody touched it. No, I don't know. but yeah, that's what the kids do. Um, anyway, yes. Yeah, so I've created a 100% diskless, diskless PC. Okay. So in all honesty, I'd say I, I have less chance of getting a virus. I'd say about well, 98%. You know, if I went zero at 100, yeah, come on, man. Um, you know, could be. Oh, I, I don't know. But anyway, you know. Um, so if someone tells you, oh, they've got a hundred percent virus proof machine, um, all that sort of stuff, well, yeah, they're pulling a lariat because no matter what system you're using, go check it out on. Uh, online from the experts uh, you're all sus whatever system you're using you're sus susceptible to viruses hacking attacks uh, you know, spam phishing all that sort of stuff so 
if, you, if you're deluded and think that you have a 100% protected machine, you're, you're tagging yourself. Um, yeah. Some may say, oh, but I'm using Linux and that's virus proof. Yeah, well, that's assumed. And you know, experts say, well, yeah, it's still vulnerable, but they've, I think some of them have reduced all the viral uh, the virus attacks down to this thing. I don't know. They did something with it, so it's hard to get attacked. But basically, because um, uh, people are using Windows, most common is window, Windows, Microsoft Windows, and, they, and hackers and crackers and whatever attack those systems. But I have found potential threats on this Sparky machine. Um, I think I downloaded a free uh, business offers um, PDF and put it on my machine. So I, I went into the apt option on uh, Sparky Linux, uh, APT option, and uh, I downloaded and installed, well, installed this um, software. Called Clam TK Antivirus Scan. Okay, uh, it automatically updates, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, so I did a scan and it found a potential threat, uh, detected a potential threat. I think it was a um, metadata exploit or something like that uh, to do with that PDF. So I deleted it, got rid of that PDF. Something was hidden inside it, you know, inside that PDF. Well, that's what happens when you go to a torrent site, you know download something like that it's probably got that in it but it could happen you could get it offline you know ah, so it wasn't off a torrent site it was off a business office. offer but yeah yeah if you go to a torrent site you get the same sort of result often enough anyway um yeah so again i've created a 100 percent discless pc but unfortunately because i got this itoy uh, webcam I'm technical, I can fix any of these things and you know, put them apart, put them back together, um, uh, wipe them, uh, and then uh, reformat them, reinstall them, protect them, secure them. That's no problem, but 2020, uh, it's 2020 now, and I, and, and I, I guess I've got to get somebody to um, uh, make a video of both screens, you know what I mean? Uh, so you can see the evidence that that's you know, that I have heads Linux or Linux heads running through a 100% diskless computer. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, I think that's all I should. I've covered everything I think. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, you like this idea, what I've done, then um, please subscribe, push the button where it is down the, below there, or to the side to lift it up so I don't want to. Um, push that and subscribe, and give me some uh, nice comments on what you think about this video and what I've done. And if I get 10 or more subscribers I'll make some more videos like this because I have in the back of my mind um, the idea to for retro gamers you know like they got an old Windows 95 Windows 98 XP uh, SP1 SP2 SP3 Surface Pack 1 2 3 um, machine and they want to play these old games like uh, Sega Saturn Seeker system, all those old games, retro games, simulators on the uh, computer, right? Uh, and maybe Tekken, and maybe some PC games like uh, Red Faction, um, Condemned, uh, Mist. That's a really unusual but cool game. I got that one somewhere. The original one of that. Um, even the old Warcraft, the very first Warcraft. Yeah. Um, yeah, on, on that machine. But I can help. I can teach you how to better protect and secure that particular computer, even though it's unsupported. Windows 95, 98, XP. Um, yeah, up to, I'll be honest to say, 96%. But then I can take it a bit further and secure it to you for 98%. Help you secure it at 98%. Yeah, um, there's, there's these little things that I've discovered that 
nobody's not many people have covered there's a few but not many you know? uh, not, not many people are aware of it anyway so um, yeah and I was also thinking of creating uh, an online course on how to do that all those window systems how to better protect and secure them um, I'm familiar with everything up to Windows 7 I did dabble with 8 but not enough I haven't dabbled with 10 yet or is it Microsoft Edge the latest ones coming out or come out or whatever I haven't messed with those ones um, but yeah I've played around with Linux a lot of Linux um, systems from um, and tested them um, I stored them in random put them on um, USB yeah, I've tested them all, or most of them. Um, from distrowatch.org. Uh, some of them are wacky, some of them, uh, yeah, they just, some don't even work. Um, but yeah, I'm not a Linux nerd. You know, like, I just know how to put them on a USB and then run them and set them up, you know, like the Sparky Linux. Um, I still have some problems with Sparky Linux, like the uh, Firefox browser crashes for no reason, you know. But more often it freezes up. It's like I got a um, this machine here, uh, this one here that I'm using to make this video. Um, it's got like a two point something gigahertz um, CPU, around about that. Oh, maybe it might be three. Um, it's got about like I don't know, two or three gigabyte of RAM. So yeah, it's pretty good for the cheap price I got it for. Um, but yeah, sometimes it decides to suck a lot of memory and stuff like that. I gotta get me a better one. Anyway, so if you like this idea and you want to know more, you want to see more videos. subscribe and then leave me a nice comment and I'll make some more videos like this <laughs>